Hi fellow dreamers, in this video we are going to explore seeing our reflection in our dreams. If that's happened to you, you may have been a little bit surprised and it may have even been a little bit scary for you, but let's go ahead and bring some love to this dream. So thanks for joining, my name is Carolina. I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace, and I also help my followers interpret their dreams. We do this because when we listen to our dreams, we're connecting to our subconscious, and when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's get started with the topic of today, those reflections. Okay, have you ever had a dream and then literally maybe you're passing by a mirror and you see a reflection some people get very scared when they see their own reflection in the dream because some people say that it doesn't look like themselves or things start to move kind of funny okay let's bring a little peace of mind to this remember you are in dream state and in dream state all sorts of things are possible so it's possible that you look at yourself and that things do start to move and shift around but either way the dream is bringing us a loving alert anytime you see your reflection in a dream it's literally a loving alert saying reflect reflect to waking state what is going on in waking state right now how are we viewing ourselves all right so let's explore this at the most basic level first and then we're going to give other examples of what this can mean for different people all right so if you see a reflection number one reflect it to waking state what is going on in waking state right now okay how are we living our lives are we happy with the way we're living our lives are we happy about all the situations and places that we find ourselves in. The reason we want to really explore our waking state in this way is because dream state is essentially saying reflect. Time to look at ourselves in the mirror. Time to look at what is really in front of us. So this is a very powerful dream and this is one that really should not be ignored. So now let's pretend that in the dream you were feeling great. You saw your image. You saw your reflection. It looked like you and you felt really good about it. Okay. This is wonderful. This is just a moment of acknowledgement saying, you know what? We're doing all right. We're doing really well. This is how I see myself right now. So so take that energy, reflect it to waking state and be happy. Go with that, right? Know that right now you're acknowledging the wonderful work that you're doing. You're acknowledging that you are at the right place at the right time. Okay, go ahead, take a moment and celebrate that. All right. Now, some of our dreamers though say that when they looked in the mirror, they were fearful because one of them in particular said that the image looking back at them, it was them, but it looked like a very sad individual and they looked almost like they were in pain. Okay, not physical pain, but they said emotional pain. So... This is a very important dream, okay? And this is definitely a loving alert, okay? Anytime you see a reflection of yourself, specifically if you're carrying these heavy emotions, it's time to wake up and see what is going on in my life where I'm feeling that way, okay? There's something going on within this dreamer where they are feeling sadness, where they're feeling sorrow, where they're feeling really depleted, okay? And oftentimes we, you know, do a very good job at waking state of just keep living your life, keep going forward, don't stop, keep going, right? So we, we do this to ourselves, but the dream essentially is letting us know it's time to stop, it's time to take a moment of self-reflection, all right? And more importantly, it's time to bring more love to these situations. So if you have a dream like this, and if you are feeling um, you know, sadness, frustration, etc. It is really beneficial for you to pinpoint where this is coming from in waking state. Now, it'll be different for everybody. For you, it could be that, you know, maybe um, a particular relationship, you and this relationship, it's just not working out anymore. You and a particular job position, okay? It could be different things, but it's really important that you take the moment to go ahead and pinpoint what that is because it's time to bring more love to that situation. Now, let's go ahead and explore this a little bit further because one of our dreamers said that when they looked at their reflection, it was not even them. They said, you know what, Carolina, it was really weird, but it felt like it was me of the past, of a different life, okay? Remember, if you're open to receiving that information, dream state will show that to you. Remember, taking a huge step back, dream state will show us things from the past, things from present, things from future, and various dimensions above and below. So if you're open to receiving this kind of information, then you will be able to see those past lives. Now, dream state doesn't just show this to you just because there's always a meaning behind it and there's always an opportunity to learn. So something that you can do if you do see this reflection and you feel that it is a past life, a past life of yours, okay, one of the things you can do is number one, connect with the feeling. What were you feeling whenever you saw this reflection? Okay, what were the thoughts going around your mind during the time of this reflection? The reason you want to pinpoint that is because there is some guidance to be learned from that. That is why it's so important to be in tune with your feelings and really connected with yourself during dreams because the more information you capture, the more that you can understand what it means to you, but then specifically ask the question, what can I learn from this? From this image, from these feelings that were presented to me, what is it that I can learn from that? All right, that is the reason that anything comes up in dream state. It's really cool to know where it comes from, past, present, future, various dimensions, but the most important thing is the feelings within, right? The guiding system that you have within you that will let you know what the dream means to you.
Right. Now, lastly, let's go ahead and cover this one because one of our dreamers said that when they looked in the mirror, it was definitely them. Okay, it was definitely them. But things started moving around funny. They, they said that their little eyes, like it started drooping, things started drooping, and then they got scared and they woke up. Okay. So, um, so let's explore this because this dreamer also said that they were lucid during the dream. So everything was fine, but then they're like, you know what, let me go look at my reflection. They look at their reflection and stare at themselves and then all sorts of stuff happens and then they wake up being fearful. So remember, whenever you're having a lucid dream, it is really important that you are responsible. Okay. Be responsible. What I mean by this is really be, um, conscious and aware of what it is you're trying to do and why you're doing it okay am i just exploring this to have fun am i trying to see how weird it can get okay the reason i ask this is because underneath underneath any action we take in dream state there's always a reason behind it there's an intention right there's an intention behind it so if you're aware and lucid in dream state and you're like you know, I want to know how weird it can get. Carolina is always talking about how weird it is. Let's see how weird it really is. Okay. When you go in with that mindset, guess what? You are going to find some weird things because you are essentially creating that you are seeking that. So therefore that is what's going to present itself to you. Know this, if you are conscious and aware during a dream, having a lucid dream, you're able to change things. Okay. You're able to change whatever it is that you want. So during the time that you saw your eyes and stuff going all sorts of places, you could have stopped it from happening, but the fear, the fear got a little bit too strong and that's what woke you up essentially from the dream. All right. So remember this, whenever it's a lucid dream like that, you've got to stay calm. Remember what we talked about in the other video of practicing our breathing. All right. If you're going to look at yourself in the mirror in a dream, you have got to be able to stay with yourself and keep practicing your breathing. All right. This way you can stay in the dream longer, but if things start getting weird, then you can readjust. Okay. You can readjust. I know some people out there will say that you can never see your reflection or that when you do, there's no way you can see yourself as you really are, but that's not true for everybody. Everybody has a very different uh, dream experience. So if you want to see a reflection, you can, if you want to see a particular image of yourself in that reflection, you can, it takes practice, um, but everybody can do it. So know that anything you want to see in dream state will be presented to you, but know exactly what intention you have before going into it, especially a lucid dream. But okay, that's it for our reflections today. Let me know if you've had a dream where you see your own reflection and how that was for you. Some of us will have really fun experiences to share. Others will have kind of scary ones, but either way, we can all learn and explore with these dreams. Remember, bottom line, time to reflect to waking state. Ask ourselves how we're living our life. Are we happy with it? Do we wanna make some changes? This is a perfect opportunity to do those things, all right? So guys, Last thing I'll say, I am looking for a personal assistant. Specifically, it'd be wonderful if this person was in the state of North Carolina. So the description is down below. If you're interested in being part of the Lupita Inspires team and you're in the area, then this position may be perfect for you. So go ahead and check that out. But I will see you Wednesday during our TikTok Live, guys. And in the meantime, of course, I send you a huge hug. I send you love, unity, and peace. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you for your support and love, fellow dreamers. To continue to support us, you can go to our website and purchase our wonderful Lupita books. They're in English and in Spanish with highlights. Also, if you're interested in our wonderful and fun artwork, you can purchase that here directly from me, or you can go to our wonderful Redbubble store. We have our artwork there on stickers, cups, all sorts of fun things. You can also find our very fun little bags for yourself. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without your wonderful pillows. So you can go to sleep and have more amazing dreams. But I want to thank you dreamers because of you, we continue to do these wonderful videos and we continue to grow our loving community. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.